Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. I just want to make note that my sim is currently fine. So I thought today we would play with emotions in The Sims 4. I'm going to do a little bit of a, well not a little bit, exactly, a 24 sim hour challenge. I have my sim here, her name is Sophie, and I want to see how many emotions I can get Sophie to feel in the next 24 sim hours. There are 16 emotions in the game, if I've got that right and I'm pretty sure I have, and there are various things you can do to influence your sim's emotion. So, it's currently Thursday at 8am. I'm gonna try between now and Friday at 8am to, well, I wanna see if we can experience all 16 emotions with Sophie. No real reason really, just thought it might be a bit of an interesting experiment to do. How easily can you influence your sim's emotion? in a short space of time. So, let's start off, I mean fine is one, so that one's ticked off, that one was pretty easy. I can use the shower for multiple ones, so let's go and take a thoughtful shower and then that should tick off inspired. So as I say, I plan on using as many in-game mechanics as I can to try and tick these off. It's a race against time. One thing I probably will do though, um, just because this is on a time limit, and because each interaction, you know, you have certain mood buffs that are like a plus two or a plus one. So it's unlikely that my sim will stay in the same emotional state. I mean, she currently has inspired plus one. If she did something else that was only a plus one, she'd probably stay inspired. So as and when we tick off an emotion, I'm going to manually clear her mood buffs. So that each time we're basically starting from scratch. It just makes it a lot easier to keep track of which emotion we're currently feeling rather than having to wait, you know, five, six hours for a, a, an emotion to wear off. Oh, you're playing a game? Okay, we'll keep doing that. You might end up becoming playful. So that's two out of 16. I can use my shower for quite a few, actually. I can do flirty, energized. So what do I have to help me? I have my computer. I figured that might help with focused. In fact, um, I might just see if I can get focused right now. Uh, which one? Which one was focused? Browse Simpedia, I think, gets us in a focused mood. Okay, you do that. Hopefully, you end up being focused. Yeah, the only things I have to aid me are my shower, my computer. I've got a bookshelf. Do also have the tragic clown for obvious reasons. I have a kettle because I think there are some teas that could influence your mood and a TV, and other than that, I'm kind of thinking maybe socialising might help. Okay, focused. That's another one ticked off. A couple of them I think might be a bit more challenging than others, like, like embarrassed, I probably won't be able to do that easily from home, and also bored. I think bored might be the one that I'll find most challenging. But for embarrassed, I think I might know what to do. Yeah. Maybe if I start off being friendly, then I might become happy. And for embarrassed, I'm just going to make a move on a total stranger, because I think that will embarrass me. <laughs> Aw, we just gained a sentiment. That's cute. Okay, well, we've done a few interactions. We're not quite happy yet. Time is money. Let's just go straight in for an embrace and then see if we get embarrassed by that. I'm assuming we will get embarrassed. Maybe do a little flirt. Oh, what? Oh, he actually seems kind of open to it. Oh no, that's not good. Wait, um, um, risque question? Sometimes that goes, sometimes that goes down badly. Wait, no, don't get going. Oh, I could also maybe, um, if I confess attraction, I could also possibly ask if mermaid. That might go, that might, um, piss him off a little bit. Ask if mermaid. Mermaid, what gave you that idea? Oh, well, we're currently happy. Happy plus two, very nice. Uh, I want to try and embarrass him by being really forward, but... This guy is just so open to it. Ah, oh. well, we managed to get flirty. That wasn't what I was going for, but flirty's ticked off. Okay, this is obviously, we're obviously barking up the wrong tree here. How about this sim right here? I mean, I could just go straight in with some advances with him and then get into an argument with Ty. And then that way I might, um, might get angry even. Okay, pick up line to this guy. So many pick up lines. Oh, yes. Embarrassed. Okay, sweet. We said the wrong thing. Perfect. Finally, you just go- Wait, what was that? You just go up to random people on the street and ask their romantic preferences? How rude. Okay, he's not very happy about my- my advances. Oh, is he pissed off now? Um, what about if I- I do need to get angry as well, so I'm gonna give him the cold shoulder and, um, shout forbidden words, maybe. 
That guy, he blew me off and now he's sat in my bathroom and now he's standing in my bathroom. Okay, we're now having um an we're now having an offensive conversation. We're not quite angry yet, but we've made him angry, so hopefully he starts being rude back. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what he's done. Imply mother is a llama, there we go. Oh, he's talking shit about me. Maybe we're gonna become enemies with benefits. Oh, come on, Ty, say something mean back. We're not even slightly pissed off. Oh, he's walking away. Oh, he's walking into my house. Okay, fine. Hey, you can fuck off as well. I guess angry will get to... Um, wait, I don't want you to eat anything yet because then you won't get uncomfortable. Why don't you go and take a bubble bath? That might make you a little bit playful. Okay, bored. Well, I have level three in handiness, logic and fitness. So, what I could do is, I could buy a skill book. This is the only way I know is likely to get you bored, is if you read a book that's like below your skill level. So, maybe if I come and read Handiness Volume 1. I don't know at what skill level the book 1 gets you to, but hopefully it's less than 3. Oh, playful, cheeky, playful little bubble bath. Another one that might be challenging is dazed. Although, I could maybe buy a weather machine. I think that might prob- that's probably gonna be the easiest way. If I can't get dazed through the weather machine, then I can always just make some nectar and get my sim drunk. How's our hunger? Still only yellow. I might let that go into orange. Hopefully we can get bored from reading this book, and then we'll become uncomfortable for being hungry. What could make us tense? Usually it's from like being, starting to burn out or having low fun. Oh, she's still skill building. Okay, well that's probably not gonna result in her being bored, but maybe once she's got this skill level then she will be, but how much time is that gonna waste? Cause it's already almost five o'clock. All right, what if instead we um, watch a movie? What might we find boring? What I could do is maybe modify you in Creator Sim. I could set, maybe, see if there's a like or dislike I could give her. Hmm. I can't set her movie preferences, but I can say that we hate kids' radio. I don't know whether that will make us uncomfortable or bored, but I'll tell you what, while I buy us a stereo, why don't you see if you can make it rain? Okay, hopefully we get zapped. Oh, we do have some handiness skills though, so it might actually work. I guess we'll see. And then I'll just queue up listening to kids' radio. Oh, she's laughing. I think it worked. Oh, damn. Successfully changed the weather to raining. Oh. Okay, winemaking it might have to be then. Tense! Okay, brilliant! Well, that's good. That, that was one I thought might be a bit difficult. I'm gonna delete this and I might just... I might turn this into a haunted house. Just, you know, so I can capture if something goes bump in the night. In the meantime though, how about we brush our teeth? Get a little bit confident. And then after, maybe we'll take a brisk shower and become energized. I'm pretty sure brushing your teeth, yeah, brushing your teeth makes you confident. Very nice. Okay, energized, perfect. She does have an uncomfortable mood buff, but it's kind of hidden behind my energized one. So I'm thinking if I remove all of my buffs, then hopefully, yeah, okay. Uncomfortable is our main mood buff now. Perfect. Uh, maybe read your handiness again, just in case, just in case we get bored. We're currently on 10 out of 16. I mean, really, there's no reason for you not to eat now. So go ahead and have yourself some cereal. One thing I could do is maybe I could invite Ty, Ty round. If I argue with him, then we can get angry. And if he wins a fight, we might end up being dazed. He might not win though, because he's an elder. In fact, you know what? I might invite Minoru over instead. And we're back to fine. Okay, here is Minoru. Invite in. Oh, there are some spectres there. Hopefully we get scared at some point. Maybe if we attempt communication, that might just make us scared and then I can get rid of this haunted house lot trait. Okay, let's go argue. Oh, they made us playful instead. Oh, okay, fine. Let's just keep arguing, see if we can call his mum a llama. Oh, I do have the option to fight. Malicious fight. I kind of just want to get all of the social ones out of the way before it becomes like an, an unsociable hour. Hmm, we're currently uncomfortable. 
Hopefully this fight makes us either angry or dazed. I don't really want to win because then we'll be confident, which we've already had. So hopefully we lose. Oh no, we won. Oh, that was the worst, the worst case scenario. Now he's dazed. What if I just fight again? I could just keep fighting until we lose. Oh, we won again. Paranoid. Yeah, we can say we're paranoid. Fine. Oh no, we do have a scared mood buff, but we're not really feeling it because we're so confident. Right, I tell you what, just um, go and take a nap quick. I mean, I guess we could tick off asleep, although I didn't really count that as an emotional state. Oh, we're terrified! Wait, wake up, wake up. Okay, I mean, I kind of put terrified down as scared, but you know, same thing. Terrified is good enough for me. So I think on that note, I could probably get rid of this. Just keep it... Put it back to normal residential. You still here? Fuck off. Okay, so in terms of our emotions, we have a few more to go. We've experienced all of them except boredom, angry, sad, and dazed. So we have four more to go. So we're currently 12 in. I do have my tragic clown painting here. So I'm gonna say, let's go and view the tragic clown. That'll be quite an easy one, I think, to tick off. Maybe view it again, that didn't make us sad enough. Look at how sad it is. Maybe go take a shit and then come back and look again at the tragic clown. I guess we kind of need the tragic clown to turn up so that they make us sad all the time. We've got about six hours left. Six hours to experience four emotions. Oh, now we're just uncomfortable because of how tired we are. How have we not managed to get sad yet? Tragic clowns on a day off or something? The paint, oh, here we go. With such profound grief. Legend says, if you look hard enough, the grief will spill off the canvas and into the room. Here he is, the tragic clown. Hey, okay, finally, we are sad. Okay, we're gonna head out. We're gonna head out and uh, take Minoru with us. I need to become bored, dazed and angry. So, Let's go to the bar. Maybe what I can do is just repeat the same interactions again and again with a random sim and see if that makes us bored. Anybody here? I don't think so. I guess Minoru didn't want to come with, but that's fine. I've got Nina Caliente. Do friendly introduction. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm just gonna pause it so I can queue up a load of the same thing. Ask about day, ask about day, ask about day again. And then maybe we'll mix things up again by asking about day. Oh, okay, they're both yawning. Oh, sweet, she's bored, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So I might do a... Oh no, we're scared, we're scared of the wolf. Okay, let's try and use the wolf to get angry. We just need two now. We just need angry and dazed. Can we do it in two and a half hours? Maybe. I would actually be pretty pretty happy if we managed to go through every single emotion in just 24 sim hours. I feel like I'll be quite sad if we can't because we've got so close, we're only two away. How is it that he's not being mean back to me? You know what I might do? Um, I might just, just in case it helps, um, I'm just gonna send a load of mean messages to Nina Caliente in the hope that she retaliates and then that might put me in a bad mood. For some reason, I'm more upset by social media. Oh, wait, Fury of the Trolls, there we go. We weren't angry at all at the wolf, but we were angry about social media, about sending mean messages. Okay, well, we're currently angry. Let's, let's see if we can fight and let's hope we lose. I think because we have level three in fitness, that's why we keep winning. We kind of need to find someone who's got a really high fitness skill. But we're just one emotion away. We've got an hour and a half and we just have to get dazed. It's currently 7 a.m. I think I'm just gonna miss it. Okay, for some reason they can't fight where they are right now. Maybe we just have to take this outside. Okay, we're outside, now let's fight. He must have a high fitness skill. I mean, he works out all the time. He's a werewolf. So hopefully he wins. If he wins... Oh, what, what? <laughs> so much going on in this fight, you two. I think we might have found a little bit of a glitch. Are you guys gonna kiss? Oh, okay, back to normal. Okay, I think we've lost. But are we fine? Are we not dazed? <gasps> yes! Have a sim get in and out of all primary emotional states within 24 sim hours. I didn't even know that that was an achievement. Oh, sweet! And we did it literally just in the nick of time. 15 minutes to spare. 
Oh, I'm really happy about that. Really pleased. Well, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.